One year since a 13 year old girl was shot and killed in her Pueblo West home. But tonight her family is no closer to getting any answers about her murder. And now the mother of Haley Perkins is speaking out, hoping someone will provide new information about what happened that night. Cardio News Channel 13's Barbara Fox is live on Clarion Drive in Pueblo West, where that violent incident occurred. Barbara. Bart Haley Perkins was shot and killed here in her bedroom and her family still has a picture of her hanging up in this window to show while Haley is still gone, her memory still lives on, even though her killer is still out running free. It's just been an absolute nightmare. I feel like the world obviously doesn't stop moving, you know, but I haven't moved. I barely went back to work recently. Tanya Perkins is still grieving. This week, marking one year without her loving little girl, 13 year old Haley Perkins. Like, I can't even think. I can't function because my mind is just gone. A pendant hangs from her neck, bearing the letter H, something she wears every day in memory of her daughter that was snatched away far too soon. There's just so many people loved her, and she wasn't theirs to take away from us. She was mine. June 27th, 2022, the day before Haley's 14th birthday, her brother found her dead in her bedroom. Initially, the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office labeled the case as suspicious, a label that was updated to homicide after the coroner determined that Haley had died from a gunshot wound to the head. The autopsy report showing that wound was inflicted by another person. How do you roll four or five deep into to a completely packed residential area and shoot somebody and just walk away. The feeling of not knowing what happened to Haley is eating away at Tanya day by day, week by week, as her case continues to go unsolved. I miss her so much and so many it's questions in your mind, you know, like was she scared? Did she know what was gonna happen? What was she thinking? Tanya says she has not heard anything from the sheriff's office in four months. They have the gun. Now they do have the gun. It'll go great news. We have the gun. How is that great news if you can't try anybody? Right. You know what I mean? If there's no fingerprints or whatever, because these, you know, it's obviously more orchestrated than not. Holding on to one last string of hope that someone will come forward. I just want them tried for what they did. I just want them to be held accountable. Now, the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office says this is still an active and ongoing investigation. If you have any idea what could have happened here, please give detectives a call. Reporting live in Pueblo West, Barbara Fox, Cardio, News Channel 13.